In this problem, we're asked to solve 5x plus 7 is greater than or equal to 2x minus 11. And then we need to write the solution in interval notation. Well, what type of problem is this? Notice there's no equals in there. There's a greater than or equals to. Therefore, this is an inequality. And what type of inequality? The degree on the x's are 1 here and 1 here. So this is a linear inequality. And how do we solve those? Well, let's review it quickly. We solve linear inequalities in one variable just like linear equations except for two special things. The first one is when you multiply or divide the inequality by a negative number that reverses the inequality symbol. The second one is when you interchange the two sides of an inequality, it also reverses the inequality symbol. So apart from those two things, it's just like solving a linear equation. So let's get back to our problem. I have 5x plus 7 is greater than or equal to 2x minus 11. So I want to collect all my x's on one side, numbers on the other. I think I'm going to collect my x's on the left-hand side. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. So 5x minus 2x is 3x plus 7 is greater than or equal to negative 11. Then I have to subtract 7 from both sides. So I get 3x is greater than or equal to, add a negative 11 to a negative 7, it's going to give you negative 18. And now to get x by itself on the left-hand side, I'm going to have to divide both sides by 3. But since 3 is a positive number, it will not reverse the inequality symbol. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And I get x is greater than or equal to negative 18 divided by 3 is negative 6. So I've solved my inequality. And the only thing left is to write it in interval notation. It helps to graph it first. So here's my important point, negative 6. Greater than or equal to means I have to shade to the right of negative 6 and go all the way up to infinity. And since it's greater than or equal to, it includes the endpoint. So you use a square bracket. So my interval notation is square bracket negative 6 all the way to infinity. But remember, you must use parentheses on infinity.